Today, we're excited to showcase some new functions in Market XLS that can help you enhance your options trading. These functions, based on feedback from our sophisticated option traders and regular Market XLS users, have been carefully compiled over time. We believe these functions will provide you with a significant advantage in your options trading activities. These functions are mainly centered around six key trading concepts and metrics. Firstly, total volume and open interest. High total volume and open interest for a specific option typically indicate high liquidity, suggesting that you could potentially enter and exit trades with ease. Such options may be ideal for your trading strategy. However, be sure to analyze the options fundamentals and market conditions further. These functions help reduce your costs by identifying options with the smallest spreads. They can also indicate where the market is likely to face resistance or support and identify the most actively traded strikes, offering insights into market expectations regarding price levels and structures. Let's start with total volume options. We feed this function with an underlying stock, and it returns the total volume of all options traded for that stock. So, when we call total volume options and pass underlying stocks as an argument, it provides us with this information. We can fine-tune this to a specific type of option, either C for call options or P for put options. By calling total volume options and providing it with underlying stocks and C, we obtain the total volume of call options traded for our stock. We can further specify an expiry date for the options we're analyzing. By calling total volume options and giving it underlying stocks P for put, an expiration date, it will return the total volume of put options for the given expiration date. If we wish to know the total volume for a specific expiry date, regardless of the option type, we leave the option type argument blank and include expiration dates. Hence, calling total volume options and passing it underlying stocks and expiration date provides the total volume for both call and put options for the specified expiry date. Now, let's turn to the total open interest options function. By providing it with underlying stocks, it will yield the total open interest of all options for that stock. As with total volume options, we can specify the type of option with a second argument. Thus, calling total open interest options and giving it underlying stock MP, it will reveal the total open interest for put options for our stock. If we add a third parameter, we can focus on a specific expiry date. So, by calling total open interest options and feeding it underlying stocks P an expiration date, we can find the total open interest of put options for the given expiration date. Lastly, to determine the total open interest for a particular expiry date, irrespective of the option type, we provide underlying stock and expiration dates. Thus, calling total open interest options with these arguments offers the total open interest for both call and put options for the specified expiry date. Secondly, Put call volume ratio. A high put call ratio could suggest bearish market sentiment, indicating that investors expect the price to decrease. Conversely, a low ratio could signify bullish sentiment, with prices expected to rise. This information can guide your trading strategy to align with market sentiment. Our first example uses the put call volume ratio function in its most straightforward form. We call put call volume ratio and provide it with the underlying stocks. This will return the ratio between the trading volumes of put and call options for that particular stock. Now, if we want to go a step further and focus on a particular expiration date, we can easily do this by adding another argument. So, when we call put call volume ratio and feed it with the underlying stocks and expiration date, it provides us with the put to call volume ratio for that specific expiration date. Thirdly, put call open interest ratios. Similar to the put-call volume ratios, put-call OI ratios can help you gauge whether the market sentiment towards a particular stock is bearish or bullish. Firstly, let's look at the basic form of this function. We call put-call open interest ratio and supply it with the underlying stock. This will output the ratio of open interest between put options and call options for that stock. But what if we want to delve into a specific expiration date? No problem, we just add another parameter. When we call put call open interest ratio and give it the underlying stocks and expiration date, it will return the put to call open interest ratio for options with that particular expiration date. Fourthly, changes in volume. Significant increases in volume often indicate a rising interest in the option, potentially leading to price changes. You should consider analyzing such options further to determine if they align with your investment strategy. 
The changes in volume scan can be conducted at the underlying ticker level and individual option level. A scan on the underlying ticker will return the top symbols from the entire options universe that saw the greatest change in volume. These changes could be due to a news event, a shift in company fundamentals, or an upcoming economic event. Our first stop is unusual option Open Interest Scan EOD. By calling this function and feeding it a number, for instance, Tenet returns the top 10 underlyings with the highest change in open interest compared to the previous day. This function is an excellent tool for identifying sudden shifts in market sentiment. Next, we have unusual option volume scan EOD. Similarly, by calling this function with 10 as an argument, it delivers the top 10 underlyings with the highest trading volume. This function can be invaluable for pinpointing underlyings with high liquidity and potentially significant market activity. Finally, we'll look at unusual option volume open interest scan EOD. When we call this function and pass 10 to it, it provides the top 10 underlyings with the highest volume to open interest ratio. This function is particularly useful for highlighting options with unusual trading activity, often a precursor to significant market movements. Fifthly, most active options scans. If your scan reveals certain options as more active, it could present a potential trading opportunity. Nevertheless, it's crucial to further analyze why there's an increase in activity, a news event, a change in company fundamentals, or market sentiment could trigger this. Our first function is unusual stock options activity. This function zeroes in on options with the highest volume to open interest ratio. This is valuable as it can identify options with unusual activity, which might otherwise go unnoticed. Next up is options change in volume leaders. As the name suggests, this function highlights the options experiencing the greatest change in volume. Rapid changes in volume can indicate significant market interest, and this function helps us quickly identify those options. Following this, we have options change in open interest leaders. This function pinpoints the options with the greatest change in open interest. A substantial change in open interest can signal a shift in market sentiment, and tracking these changes can provide useful insights. The fourth function is options volume leaders. Quite simply, this function returns the options with the highest trading volume. High volume options often indicate high liquidity, making entry and exit easier for traders. Our final function is options open interest leaders. This function identifies the options with the highest open interest. Open interest leaders can provide a gauge of where a lot of money is committed in the options market. Finally, put call ratio over time. A rising put call ratio for a specific ticker over time may suggest an increasingly bearish sentiment among traders for that stock. Conversely, a falling ratio might indicate a growing bullish sentiment. You can use this analysis to decide whether to enter or exit trades in these options. First, let's explore the put call open interest ratio historical function. By calling this function and passing in the underlying stocks and a date, for example yesterday's date, we can get the ratio of open interest between put and call options for that stock on the specified date. This is particularly useful for analyzing changes and trends in open interest over time. Next, let's look at the put call volume ratio historical function. Similar to the previous function, by calling put call volume ratio historical and feeding it with the underlying stocks and a date, we obtain the ratio of trading volume between put and call options for that stock on that particular date. This can provide insights into historical trading activity and help us understand how trading volumes have shifted over time. A sample Excel application has been developed by one of our users utilizing these functions. You can download this template from the link in the description. These innovative functions are now available exclusively in the premium plan of Market XLS. If you are an existing customer, contact us at support at marketxls.com to get started or call us at 1-800-777-788358. If you are not yet a customer, book a demo using the link in the description to learn how you can upgrade your options trading with Market XLS. Happy trading!